Welcome to State of the Map Asia. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but also very excited to see all of you. This has been a year in the making since we met in Kathmandu last year. Um, so yeah, it's quite amazing to see everybody gathered here today. Um, my name is Sajad, and you should have all received many emails from you over the last few weeks, so you should all know my name. Um, so I've been helping anchor this conference over the last year on different areas, along with uh, our hosts here at the Indian Institute of Management and uh, my friends and colleagues from the OpenStreetMap community. So uh, it's actually quite special to be back at IAM. Um, I don't know, so there are some familiar faces who gathered here about 10 years ago. So in 2008, we organized the first OpenStreetMap meetup um, at IAM. So 10 years later, bigger group, um, the project's still alive, and it's actually quite amazing to be back here. Um, so all of you are somehow related to OpenStreetMap or are interested and want to learn more. So OpenStreetMap isn't a hobby project anymore. It's been around for almost 15 years. And today, we have about 12 countries um, represented, and we had a pretty overwhelming response for registration, so we have about 300 people who will be here throughout the, uh, throughout the couple of days for the conference. And uh, I don't think this would have been possible without the support uh, from the folks here at IIM, um, especially the Center for Public Policy and the Center for Software and Information Technology Management. Uh, you will meet all of them throughout the, throughout the conference. And of course, our sponsors. So um, some of them are here. So Facebook, Mapbox, Mapillary, Grab, what am I missing? Uh, Map My India, Open Cage. Uh, all of their representatives are here. So please make sure you say hello and also say thank you. Um, many of you guys are here only because of their support. And um, I'm honored to have the opportunity to welcome all of you uh, and also our distinguished guests to um, get our program started. So first of all, I have uh, Professor Abhay Oja. Um, Abhay is the Dean of Academic Programs here at IIM. Um, he's also a Professor of Organizational Behavior and Human Resources Management. <laughs> Abhay is going to uh, inaugurate the, the conference um, along with uh, Professor Rahul Day. Um, he's been a great support. He heads the Center for um, Software and Information Technology Management at IIM. Um, then we have Professor Hema Swaminathan. She heads the Center for Public Policy here at IIM. Um, Janelle Foflia, she's been pretty much my right hand throughout the conference. Um, she's a member of the OpenStreetMap Communications Working Group. And finally, Dr. Anita Padal Deshmukh, she's our first keynote, opening keynote speaker. Where is she? Is someone going to find her? Okay. She'll be here in a moment, okay? Um, we'll find her. Um, awesome. So I'm really excited. I think we should get started because some of the people uh, have to head to something else at 10. Um, so we'll start the, uh, start the proceedings by lighting the lamp. So I invite everybody to light the lamp. So I invite Professor Abhay to um, save a chain set on OpenStreetMap and uh, speak a few words. Um. I will give uh, a quick show of what you're seeing here. For those who have never seen OpenStreetMap, this is the website of the OpenStreetMap project, openstreetmap.org. And uh, what we have done is, uh, it's like Wikipedia. You can just go to any part of the map and click edit. And once you do that, you can actually browse the map data 
here we are uh, at IAM. And uh, one of the cool things you'll see is you can actually select any object. Let's say we're selecting a path. On the left side, it says what it is. And you can make changes here. Uh, in this case, uh, this is where we are. And that's the IAM auditor. Uh, what we have done is just added a name. There was no name for the building. So we added block D. Is this correct? From someone who's from IAM? This is the auditorium. OK, the building, <laughs> the whole building. But there's so many blocks. Anyway, we will correct it. Now OK, yeah, <laughs> exactly. So it works like a wiki, and uh, anyone feel free to correct it. We have added the name, and all you have to do is uh, hit save. Yeah, so you can, uh, yeah, you can try it out and see how easy it is. So I just click save? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right, yeah. Save, it gives you. <laughs> It allows you to tell what exactly you've uh, changed. So you can write a message and you can upload. And that's it. So you've uh, already been welcomed once, but on behalf of IMB, I welcome all, you all of you to this conference of State of America Asia. Uh, we are very proud to be associated with the fourth conference. Um, I think it's a matter of pride for IMB and uh, some of my colleagues who are involved with this conference to be able to host the conference, and I hope that over the next couple of days, you have a, a wonderful time with us, okay? And I'm sure uh, we've, the sessions will be good for all of you, and I, the uh, keynote speakers, Dr. Anita Patil Deshmukh and Siddharth Hande, uh, they will provide insights to you that will sort of help you into the future, okay? My role here on behalf of IMB is to uh, sort of talk to you a little bit about IMB. I'm told that some of you would have heard of IMB, maybe uh, drove across on Benaragata Road, but no, might not know enough about it. So I'm going to uh, kind of link the lamp lighting, our logo that you s saw on the top, and to some of the things that um, sort of OpenStreetMap is trying to, trying to do, okay? So we, we lit the lamp um, because since 1994, when we've adopted our, our new logo, uh, I don't know whether we really thought through it in that fashion, but we kind of uh, kick-started the idea of open learning, okay? Prior to 94, IMB's logo used to be a book, okay? And kind of the impression was you read a book and you learn, okay? Uh, since 94, our logo suggests that uh, if you read up there, it says, let our study be enlightening. Uh, the longer version says, uh, of that says that learning is a collective activity. It is not an individual activity. So if you see the logo, the interpretation of the logo is, we at IMB share what we know. We try to spread light. But we have defied physics, and we have bent light. Okay? Now what is the meaning of bending light? Uh, we say we share what we know, but the community has to participate. In our case, the class has to participate, the students have to participate, and we learn together. We learn together. So in some sense, I see the linkage between what uh, OpenStreetMap is doing and, and this is the formal organization is doing what it can do. It has set up a platform, but we need to have community to participate so that we can map the world we live in. Okay. And so in some sense, uh, it, was, it was nice that this links the core people to to the involvement of a larger member of the communities to to um, to sort of um, make our nav navigation better. Okay. Having said that, let me tell you that IMB um, since 31st January 2018, uh, we are a new regime. Uh, we we now come under the IMB Act of 2017. Prior to that, we were uh, an institution registered under the Karnataka Societies Act as of this year, and which coming under the act gives us the liberty of uh, to do a whole bunch of things. The most notable is to give degrees to uh, various programs. Earlier, we used to have diplomas. As of last year, we provided uh, degree, the MBA degree to people of one program, um, the P2, your PGP, and uh, the other programs, we are in various stages of uh, making minor modifications to it to conform to the requirements of the Act to give degrees to that, okay? So as a school, we are the top school in India. Uh, 
most international rankings, we do better than our sister organization. Some of the domestic rankings, our sister organization occasionally do better than us. But more importantly for us, we are the most uh, global oriented school in India and we have huge aspirations to not just rank well in the domestic rankings but uh, rise up the ranks in all our activities in, in the global thing. So I think it's, it's great that you chose this uh, as a, a conference site. It, it helps us increase our visibility in the, in the global arena. We are organized uh, in terms of 10 faculty groups and around eight centers and the two of the centers are very closely involved with, with uh, hosting this conference, the Center for Public Policy, which uh, uh, HEMA represents, and the Center for Software and IT Management, which Rahul represents. So that's, in addition to that, in terms of, we are very research focused, so I'll leave aside the research focus. I'll, most of the outside world likes to talk about programs. Our oldest program is the PGP, which I said uh, we start giving the MBA to the, for that program. We have another program called the PGPEM, which is a, which is a, a weekend program. In its old avatar, it was called PGSEM program, largely focused on the software industry. We have modified that industry to, to reflect the changing industrial context in, in, in Bangalore, and now it's called the PGPEM. Around 75 students uh, come on Fridays and Saturdays and they can uh, get a diploma in management. Hopefully soon that will be a, uh, an MBA in management. A third program we have is the PGPPM, uh, which is geared towards uh, mid-career bureaucrats and, and um, executives in the government, preparing them from uh, to work in an open economy rather than a command and control economy. And over time we have opened up that uh, a program to people from civil society because finally in an open society and not just the government officers are responsible for a public policy, it's participation of civil society. So we train both sides to kind of actively participate in the public policy debates on discussions to, uh, to kind of get the discourse right such that as a society uh, we face the future with uh, better policies than we have had in the past. Our latest program that we have added in recent time is EPG, uh, EPGP, which is essentially a one-year program targeted at people with around 10 years of work experience. Uh, they quit their job, they come here, and uh, we provide them placement. It's very good for students who have uh, feel plateau in their, in their respective uh, careers and want to make a switch, and they think that the switch would be facilitated with a management degree and kind of we provide that. It's a very, it's a very successful program. And although in chronology I'm mentioning it as a last, it's our doctoral program which we call the FPM. Um, it is uh, sort of as old as our PGP program and we are very proud to have the largest doctoral program amongst business schools in India. We have around 15, uh, 15 students um, uh, per batch which gives us should ideally give us 75 students at any time, but uh, we have around 80 to 90 uh, people who are around because the doctoral program doesn't necessarily go in a straight line, okay? There are hiccups here and there and uh, things happen. That's, uh, I won't take up too much time, that's a little bit about IMB, and uh, during your two year stay, you learn more about us, and uh, you, can, you can talk and inquire uh, with colleagues to find out more about IMB, okay? So I'll stop here, good luck. I hope you have a wonderful two days at the conference and uh, hopefully uh, you will go away with nice memories and warm memories of IMB. Good luck. Thank you, Professor. It's an honor to have you with us this morning. Um, and I'd like to invite Professor Rahul to speak a few words. Good morning and <coughs> I will also begin by welcoming you to uh, IIM Bangalore. Uh, a few months ago, when uh, Sajjad approached us for the first time, uh, we, uh, uh, I wasn't very familiar with this uh, conference, and, but I was familiar with the work. The two things Sajjad said were open and street maps. I am very familiar with the open community because I've been working with the open source people for many, many years. I have advocated open source, researched it, and I said that's, that's a very good thing to have, and I, I was familiar with 
OpenStreetMaps. The second part, which is actually even more interesting, and uh, Abhay alluded to it, is crowdsourcing. The crowds are involved. This is the most exciting part about the whole open movement. Now, uh, <laughs> some of us uh, who used to talk about open source about 20 years ago uh, had people staring at us blankly, saying, so what's that? Never heard of it. Uh, some of us used to, including me, used to turn blue in the face trying to convince people that open source is what it is all about, technology is all about. Uh, today, I'm glad to say and declare that we have won, hands down, open source is the winner and the open source community is <laughs> very strong and very good. So when Sajjad approached me, I said, oh, this must be the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> so the good guys are always welcome <laughs> to our community. So I will just do one more thing. Uh, this is a trick I learned from Sajjad. How many of you can, uh, or rather, can all of you raise your hands and point south? Where, which way? <laughs> That's out. <laughs> exactly. So uh, I think over the next two days, you'll become very conscious of where South is. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll leave you with two challenges over the next two days. One, all of you have to find Prabhakar's stall and have coffee. It's a cultural thing. You have to do it. Two, you have to find the three idiots window. <laughs> Did you guys see the film? <laughs> it's somewhere here. And if you can pinpoint it, put it on the map, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> Thank you, and welcome. Um, I'd love if uh, Professor Hema can also say a few words. Hi, good morning, welcome. The saying of a few words is becoming a lot of words, right? <laughs> you must all be wondering, when is this going to end? Um, to add to uh, Rahul and Abhay, welcome to IMB, welcome to this conference. I hope it's a wonderful two days. Uh, to add to Rahul, uh, when you go to Prabhakar, don't just try the coffee, try the kachori and the samosas. Both <laughs> very good. Uh, <laughs> the coffee is too sugary for my taste. Try the tea. <laughs> um, when Sajid first approached, uh, I must confess I'm completely a novice uh, to mapping. Uh, and open source, I've heard about it. I'm not, unfortunately, an open source person. By the time I think I learned about it, uh, I was committed to the evil side. And then the learning curve is so steep that you just let it be. Um, I was hoping to be a little more involved and learn a little more. I think I have picked up a little, but not as much as I, as I would have liked. But to me, the biggest challenge is, always thinking from a public policy perspective, is where does mapping link to policy? It very much ought to, um, you would think. Um, in fact, uh, empires have been built uh, with mapping, I mean, cartography and mapping is the way, uh, is how colonies grew, right? How uh, stakes were made, how people became really powerful because they found new ways, new paths. Uh, but unfortunately, all of that was with a bent to exploitation, to mining, uh, to, uh, what, what should I say, to uh, relieving the misery of the oppressed and to show them the light. Hopefully, we think of mapping in a very, very different way now, is to really democratize societies. Um, I, I just want to, uh, this is a question I always had for myself, and I guess as I was also thinking about this conference in the last couple of days, if you go back to the preamble of our constitution, we talk about justice, equality, liberty, and fraternity, right? Um, how can mapping help us get a little closer to it? Um, I often think that Indian society is not, fraternity is something that we lack. Uh, can mapping really help us? Can we think of mapping as a way to democratize? How can policy play a role? Uh, this is an outcome. Maybe some discussions will happen around this, but this is something that I'll pick on Sajad's brain um, after this uh, conference is over. So, over. so any inputs you have towards that uh, would be very welcome. So Sajad, this is what I expect from you. <laughs> right? Uh, thank you all. Have a wonderful time. Uh, thank you, Hema. Um, Thank you very much for hosting us. Um, the campus is actually really wonderful, so uh, don't miss the sessions, but walk around, um, uh, and also don't get lost, look at a map. Um, <laughs>